Hey guys, it's Cassie. It's Richie. So, how's it going? How are you guys doing? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so apparently fall has come a little bit late to Vancouver. It's so been really nice this week. We took advantage. We're actually outside right now. There's bees. We had like a little bee issue where a bee was following Richie around mm -hmm. because she smelled so good. We just decided to take advantage of this nice sunny day and film outside with this backdrop. Is this like a pink overkill? <laughs> Today we're going to be doing a how to shoot film. Basics 101. If you're proficient in film, don't watch this video because we're not. We just do it. I it's mean, just fun. it's so simple, but yeah, and we've been getting so many requests. I feel like this video is like a long time coming because a lot of you guys have requested we do a how to shoot film photos video. I honestly didn't think we would be filming this video because I just thought it would be so straightforward. Like if you were born in the 90s, the 90s or before that, then you are like, this is pretty darn self-explanatory. Like, why are you making a video? But I still get a lot of DMs, I don't know about you or comments on YouTube saying that you guys want us to teach you how to shoot film. Yeah. Like I said, not for the proficient film photographers, people, film enthusiasts. This is just for people that have never touched a film camera, maybe Gen Z, all y'all babies that never really experienced film, or people that are interested. Am I talking too much again? A little, yeah. A little. To make this video more interesting, we're kind of just gonna go around to like different locations, shoot our outfits, I guess. So it's like, you know, what we do on the usual when we have our film camera. We actually carry it around everywhere. So yeah, she's really shutting up. That's all I have to say. <laughs> you know, it's funny because in person, Richie's actually the more extroverted one out of the two of us, right? Well, like I, I, I think you, you can, you just pick and choose who you want to talk to. <laughs> It's true. <laughs> I can talk to what everybody, listen, even if I don't want to listen. <laughs> That's me. Yeah, anyways. I feel exposed. <laughs> no, I am true. introverted. I have a lot of introverted tendencies. Half and half, yeah. People that like just clicked on this video randomly are like, who are these two girls just talking about? We're talking, yeah. Just life. And who we are. Anyway, so the topic of this video, the first thing you gotta do in order to shoot with a film camera is to get a film camera. And I have a problem. You wanna help me address this problem? Yeah. Help me gather just, the problem. Um, People in Vancouver don't get mad at me if they can't find any more <laughs> film cameras. Cause apparently I swept the market. I swept Value Village, Salvation Army. I've just been buying a bunch of film. I didn't even know I had this many film yeah, cameras. Yeah, what's wrong but with you? I don't know what's wrong with me, but the first thing, first things first, is to buy a film camera. That works. <laughs> that works. All you gotta do is really to go to whatever thrift store you choose. Um, Salvation Army, Value Village, this is the primary choice thrift store that I go to to mm -hmm. get these bad boys that I have never been used but I just have them just for the sake of it. So this is the film camera that Richie and I usually use which is the Pentax. This is the SPO 80V. Which one do you use? Pentax. Pentax as well, right? Yeah. So this was only, I believe, like $3.99. Yours yeah. was like $4.99. Actually, I have a better reason as to why I have all of these film cameras. I genuinely think they're a good gift and I just hoard them and if it's someone's birthday, someone's graduation, I just gift them a film camera because it's so like universal. Yeah. And it's fun. I feel like it's more sentimental. Also have this one from Valley Village which was $4.99. It's the Rico. This is a manual film this camera. This is $4.99? Yeah. We're not gonna talk about manual film cameras simply because I don't really know how to use one yet. Like I know how to shoot manual on a digital camera like an SLR, but I have never tried it with that, so I'm excited. Second tip, get some film. Get some film. This is a lot, <laughs> this, I, okay, these aren't mine, so it's actually kind of a funny story. I wanted to decorate my room, just, you know, have like a creative kind of environment. <laughs> like a little piece, like a decoration. So I went over to London Drugs and I asked for all the empty film canisters and she was gonna throw them away. So I just took them all. He probably thinks you're weird. He was really cool about it. He okay. gave me a box full. Okay. 
So I just put it in this jar. So I guess that's the first step and we're just gonna go ahead and go to our London Drugs, show you what you need. Should we go now? Let's just go. <laughs> Bye. Okay, for the sake of context, this is the film backdrop situation. You know, Richie just took a bunch of selfies. You want to show them? The yeah. sun was real nice. Really trying to take advantage of this weather because in about a week, it's not going to be sunny. It's going to be back to Vancouver. But let me just show you guys our little setup. This is the magic of filming. I don't know. It's a mess. But, you know, it's cropped out. So it doesn't look like a mess. Then we have our mic set up, whatever. Anyways, these are the film cameras that I have hoarded up. I actually got super excited because I totally forgot that I thrifted some Minolta's. I have two. They're a Japanese, you know, film camera brand. And they were both. $3.99, which is pretty darn cool. And then I have a Polaroid one, Canon, Vivitar. This has film in it still that I have not developed yet. But yeah, we're gonna go to London Drugs. Show you how it's done. Mm -hmm. I wanted to shoot here, like, you know, with a tarp and stuff like that, but I realized I actually don't have any film left. So oh, yeah, that's true. we gotta go buy some. Okay, so before we go off on our little film adventure, Richie's gonna show you guys the YouTube film fridge. Yeah, so this is the headquarters that we work in sometimes. My house, my little yeah, studio. little studio. So we have inspiring people over here, our friends, Juju over there. Um, but we just like chose a bunch of pictures that are very sentimental to us. Um, and as you can see, What was that lot. accent? I don't know. We have lots of pictures. Obviously we can't put them all onto the fridge. But a little tip for you guys, um, if you want to stick some on your fridge, we have these magnet tapes. Um, super simple, just cut it up like that, stick it onto the back. Yeah, just stick it onto, yeah. <laughs> you have some space. There, perfect. Yeah, so we have our memories. Yeah, this is a really great friends. use for sure. There's Maya and Jules. Maya and Julia, Maya hi, and Julia. we need to get a, updated one. That was from 2016. Yeah, so long ago. We have Whaley and Wa. We have Karen and Sandy, Amy in her old apartment, Nina, Jen, Yumi, Drew again. Yeah, oh, and Wendy in a Polaroid. Same thing, same kind of thing. Yeah. Stick a magnet tape. This is just to give you guys some inspiration on how to display film if you don't want to put in an album. But yeah, so then over here. Wow, it is dusty up there. Oh my god. Okay, but mm -hmm. I also like to display some of my film cameras around my room, because why not? That's the film canisters, empty film canisters that we were talking about earlier. And then I have over here, this is the manual film camera, just displayed all of its glories over there. And then I have another film camera in my bedroom, just chilling. And over there is where I usually keep my other film camera that I use on a monthly basis. How many times do we usually shoot film? Well, if you just, have it and you remember. If we, if we remember to shoot, it's just there, along with this Polaroid. So I recently went on a vacation and I decided to, you know, take my film camera along with me. Definitely just makes for like tangible moments. Um, just, you know, reflecting on your vacation, Disneyland. Cute. Oh, oh Quentin, this is my baby cousin He's with so Spider-Man. It's just like, it gives like such a nostalgic vibe yeah. for sure. Let's go. Let's go. Pee first. <laughs> Why is it part of the club? Oh my, it is bright. Okay. Well, we're on our way to London Drugs, but Richie is eating. What are you eating? Up. Going to London Drugs, that's our primary source to get film, get the film battery. But you can actually also go to Walmart, get some Kodak film. Um, usually stores around here, like Costco, London Drugs, whatever, they just sell like basic, you know, film. They don't have like anything special. Um, but if you do want to get special film, you can definitely go to Amazon. I've heard that you can get some in Amazon or specialty film camera stores. Now the exposure is too... Okay, let's let's figure this out. As I was saying, you can usually just find, you know, basic film. Um, we're probably gonna get Fuji film in London Drugs. Distracted driving. Oh my gosh. This is what your little, such your boyfriend <laughs> so bought you. 
in LA. <laughs> I yeah, was there. I got one too. He's so cute. He's just like, I could get that for Richie. That's this is gonna be finishing one like fruit for me. <laughs> like one piece of fruit. Pineapple. But it's cute. So silly me, a little scatterbrain Cassie. Today, I don't know why. I think it's too much caffeine for sure. Like you could probably tell in the long-winded intro of this video. But I forgot my phone. So we had to go back and get it because we are actually going on a uh, going on a what? <laughs> going to an event tonight. And you know, I gotta snap, I gotta put some stuff in the story. Hopefully we'll catch golden hour so we can shoot film with golden hour light. Okay, so we're in London Drugs. First things first, you need to figure out what battery your film camera takes. I think it's on the specialty film side. Here it is. So it's usually a three volt lithium battery. You wanna, this that little guy. Fat, Don't that body shame it. <laughs> this is the battery we're gonna go. It's oh. a kind of pricey, that's the only thing, but it lasts for a really long time. So we're gonna get this is that one. one. Yep, yeah, three volt lithium battery, one, two, three. Nice. Energizer. So the film we're gonna get, I suggest using... 200? No, 400 I think. If you guys don't know what ISO does, just oh my gosh, do wait. 400. What? This is 15 bucks here. There's three for 15 in Walmart. Really? Okay. Yeah. Oh uh, darn. Do you want to go to Walmart? Since we shoot film a lot, we're gonna get a three pack. Um, let's get this one. So all occasions, superior, extra. So each film comes with, oh, I think it's more expensive because it's 24 or films within each canister. This is 36. Oh, I see. Okay. So you get, yeah, you know what I mean? So yeah, we're gonna get this. They also sell Ilford film here, which is black and white, but for now we're just gonna stick with color. And over here we have prices. So to develop negative prints, it's $17 for 36, which is honestly shooting film is kind of pricey. I know, my it's like, just. Why do you shoot it's just fun, that's why. And you can also um, opt to get it developed um, digitally. So you can get a oh. CD. Well, well you if you don't have a scanner, scanner, right? Yeah. You can also choose the finish of the film photo and the size. We usually choose four by six and we make it borderless with a matte finish. That's a great shot right there. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so we got the film. Now we're going to a skate park. We didn't know where else to film, but I think I think a skate park will be very like dynamic. Anyways, like I said, we chose the Fujifilm 400 ISO film. It comes with three each little canister. It comes with 36 photos. So while Richie drives, I'm going to show you how to load your film camera. So this is the one that we're going to be shooting with. So obviously you got to put the battery in. This is where you load the battery check where the negatives and positives are before loading it, obviously, but you just stick it in here, close it. And as you can see, my film camera has a date stamp on it so that it'll show up on the actual film photo itself, which adds like a really nice nostalgic touch, I think. What do you think? Do you yeah. like that? Yeah. Some people don't like it, but not all film cameras have that feature. So yeah, you just like press these little buttons and then adjust the date. It is September 27th. So this is how each canister comes as it comes with this little case which is actually really good for storing bobby pins or hair ties. So you can use it, save it for later. I don't know what you want to do with it, but we're just going to take out the film. As you can see, there's a little bit of film exposed. This helps for it to roll in. I am so sorry if this is shaky by the way. I'm trying to hurry because we are running out of sunlight. So all you have to do is like pull it out a little bit more and then insert it into the film camera like so and then tuck it into the back like this and then close it. That's pretty much it. Satisfying. I'm gonna take my first film photo. Why not, right? Of you! Got some direct sunlight, you can see your dimple. Okay, let's do this. Okay, this is hard to film and take photo at the same time, so I'm gonna put the camera down. So we did it, we took our first photo, now we're on the second one. And it's great, because you don't get to see it till later. It's it's all a game, it's just fun. Yep. You know, it's like a prize at the end. Know, it's like a surprise. Like millennials, you know, because 
because they want the instant stack. But this is what, it's good to slow down sometimes, you guys, right? I still catch myself like looking at the- At the back, yeah, there's nothing. Like, oh shoot. <laughs> yeah, still on our way to the skate park, Richie needs some Tim Hortons, so yeah. we're just gonna stop <laughs> and get some Tim Hortons. Oh shoot, I can't stop here. But like, I mean, just stay in the car. So Richie just left me in the car. She turned on her hazards because we're not supposed to park here. But anyways, I hope you guys are liking this video so far. I know it's really casual just because we just wanted to make a vlog and just show you guys how to shoot film. I didn't really think this video was necessary just because a lot of people know how to shoot film already. Oh, you're back. Super easy. So fast. Wow. Okay, you got it blacked in too. No? No, I got Two cream, tea. two sugar? Oh, steep tea. Gotcha. So, we drove by the skate park and there's so many people. So many skaters, which is understandable. They're probably also taking advantage of the sun. So yeah, I don't think we're gonna shoot any film photos in the skate park, but we're gonna go here, shoot some nice film photos. <laughs> I don't know. And there's a field over there. We can, you know, have green contrast with my pink hair or something. up shooting at this park we ended up meeting a bunch of little skater girls they were super dope they so encouraged cool. and inspired us to try never it. like to start yeah they were 18 but they're like go skate go try it out and I am genuinely considering it I, but yeah. my coordination is not the best and Richie bruises like a peach so <laughs> so yeah we're gonna head over to the event which is what time is the event again Eight. Eight o'clock. And it is seven. Where is it? Oh. Gave Cassie wipes so that she could wipe. I think it's bird poo. It smelled really bad. Huh. You. What do you do for the photo? We are in a cafe right now because Richie had to pee. And we're killing time because we're early. But I just wanted to show you guys um, that the film camera we're using has a flash and the majority of them do have one. So to turn it on for night shoots and if you just want that flash kind of effect or the flash effect, you know, fill flash is what I'm trying to say. Um, you just tap on the little flash button like that. Okay. That one. And then you take your photo. Yeah. I hope the event has food. I'm kind of hungry. I'm a little famished. set up a tarp in my backyard. You know, I'm gonna shoot something, see what we come up with. 
your film camera is done there you go yeah we did it all right guys so we're back back at the studio we had a fun day of uh, or half a day of shooting film and the event was awesome it was an NBA event and we met Sean we didn't meet, meet him, him we but just, he was there he's there you know answering some questions and whatnot and we actually went outside of my backyard shot some photos with like a tarp and yeah the photos as of right now haven't been developed but all you gotta do is take the canister out of the camera, give it to the guy at London Drugs, Costco, wherever they develop They'll film. They'll probably walk you through it. Yeah, so. through the process. So it's pretty easy. Yeah. Um, but you guys already have seen how the photos turned out and comment below if you guys like it. If you like the photos, if you thought they were cool, why not? I think they're gonna turn out okay. Yeah. I'm talking about this like in hindsight because we haven't seen them yet. But I think they'd be cool. They're gonna be cool? Yeah. Cool the light set up because it was too dark but yeah thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to follow us on instagram at cassie massingtide at richie come into one and at we are to the nines hashtag we are to the nines to be featured keep them coming with your features with your hashtags yeah photos yeah okay we'll see you in our next one bye kind of sure wait so this is how each kind of store well so this is that. We finished up with this little, put your phone down, girl. You guys didn't know my hair is pink. And I posted it. I'm pretty a, sure they know. I know, it's I know. All I know, but I'm just, I was going to segue oh, saying okay. that. I oh my gosh, there was a bee that flew.